Hello friends, this is Agnes and today we are going to do some Chinese New Year greeting cards. I'll be using the 9, 10 and 11 size circles of this circle scale. These numbers doesn't represent any particular diameter or something like that. It is the numbering that is given on this particular circle scale. So you can't refer this to any other scales just use three different sizes of circles so now I make a foil using a full red quilling strip and then I'm going to make a loose coil with the size 9 circle I keep making more loose coils for the other sizes that is the size 10 and 11 I usually try to make different sizes at the same time because that's a little trick in saving time. So now let's start making the shapes. For the center piece of the lantern, we will be using the nine size circle. So we need to pinch both the ends to make it like an eye or the Marquis shape. Using the size 10 and 11 circles, we will be making some semicircle like shapes. And all these three shapes will make one half of the land end. So for the other half, we will be needing to make two more number 10 and 11 size circles. And then convert them into the half moon shapes or the semicircle shapes. Now using the golden color quilling strips, I am going to measure one side of the eye shape and then going to make some 4 to 5 folds so that it becomes thicker for to place between these shapes. Here I have two such shapes and now it is time to glue it to the eye shape. So I am using my quilling board and pins to keep it secure. You can just do it with hand but this helps hold the shape properly. So it is easy for me so that when it still dries I can do my other works of quilling. Just glue the side of the golden color paper and then stick it to the sides of the eye shape and then you can glue one of the half circle shape or the half moon shape and secure it using pins then I will be doing the same on the other side and it is always preferable to measure the golden paper's length each time for each side separately and do them so that they are fitting perfectly. In the similar way I kept making all the bands and joining the red parts. And I alternately joined the gold bands and the red shapes. Once they are completely done with the land and shape, now I will be rolling a strip of red around all these pieces so that it is intact. I kept rolling of about 3 fourth the length of the paper and then I glued them down. So now here it is ready. I got two similar pieces. 
then for the top and bottom parts of the landon i am using the golden color strip and then i make a thick band just by rolling as shown in the video and then gluing it down And now I am ready with my greeting card base and here using a ruler and black marker or black pen I make two thin lines and also do remember to leave enough space for both the landings to fit in. So here I have drawn one line above and the other line a little bit lower and now I am just roughly placing them to see how they look. When I'm happy with the arrangement, I just go on with gluing them down. And then using a red marker, I just draw the lines below the land. Finally, I add the lower golden part. So now it's all done and the greeting card is ready. If you wish, you can add some sentiments with stamping or writing. Hope you like today's video and I hope you will also try this card for yourself. Thanks for watching.